Chaos and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. We are playing, um, of course, and uh, we have started out this little town here next to the forestry area, the Florence logging area over here. So let's have a quick recap. It's been a few days since I played, so let's have a quick recap of what our industry is busy doing. We are creating plain timber and not making any real money. We are producing a few tons of raw products, so we can probably increase this. We need more workers in order to upgrade this. So I think that means we are going to, and this can produce more stuff. So we should probably dig into providing some more of these pieces. Yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. We are going to provide more of them. So let's do one, two more of them. Right, like so. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, actually, that's beach. That's beach. Let's go with uh, beach again and still beach. So let's do all the same trees. And it's kind of the trees that we are seeing around here anyway. I'd like to try and maintain that a little better. Uh, okay, so that's making the turn over there. That's a bit of an industrial road running through there. I like the power line running down the industrial road over here. And we are getting some direct highway connectivity over here. Oh, the one thing that I wanted to do is I didn't like the service road concept for a rural interchange. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, and I'm going to instead grab the ramp and tie that in like so and uh, like so and what we'll do is we'll use move it to tweak it a little bit like that uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't necessarily want any of those things um, Ooh, stuff is looking funny over here can we can we drop that down a little Ooh, a little is what I'm saying yeah that looks much better I don't mind a little bit of a upward right over there I think this is pretty decent excellent no too much yeah like that that is how uh, I believe a rural interchange would actually look now this highway is a little bit bigger than the rural but what I'll do I'll use this over here and just make sure that we are doing that at the same time I'm gonna have this one go only there and that one only there of course and if we grab this that one does that doesn't maybe I shouldn't do all of that but anyway that's fine this thing can go straight through I could I could change this one to a two lane but it's not something you would see at a rural inter interchange so that's our interchange this is a very basic freeway access over there and I'm going to do a similar thing over here because let's face it that's just crazy it's a crazy service road over here where we don't have whoops 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 uh, let's run that back straight through there perfect okay now grab me my I just want to finish this piece off over here so something like that that is probably a better that's even a better look than the other one um, so if we try and squeeze that a little and we try and squeeze this one a little that actually looks pretty good Yeah, how's that? Ooh. Okay, well, we'll use Mover to sort out uh, this piece over here. Let's drop that down a fair bit, and we'll start by dropping that one down a little bit. And maybe what we'll do is we'll raise this up a little. Nice. I think that is better. So that's a much, much, uh, much nicer access point that we've got going on right over there. This side is okay. It's probably a little tight, but I um, I don't mind it. Uh, what we could do is we could drop this one down like three squinches, so it's kind of looking a little better. 
it's needing to be a little bit flatter in this area okay now let's grab this let's make sure that we get these guys to stop let's make sure that this only goes there that only goes there and that this one only goes here oops Well, these do the rest of it. Okay, so that would be it. So that, I think, looks much better as a rural interchange. Okay, so let's see that in action. Are we going to get people get off of there straight away? Are we getting people doing that? What I'm quite keen on is to see if someone here waits, but this isn't low, near as busy. isn't nearly as busy okay that's fine okay what are we gonna do in this episode I am tempted to make a move into this direction I am tempted to fill out this thing a little bit more um, and I think it's actually a good idea since we've got a pretty decent uh, demand for these things let us indeed do that um, so we'll add a bit more residential in there that's gonna pick up straight away we don't have any industrial demand, so we're probably struggling to get these jobs filled over here. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look at is our transport hub. Did I build a transport hub over here? I'm pretty keen for us to build a transport hub. Let's quickly have a look at transport. So we don't have transport over here. So in terms of bus transport, I'm pretty keen for us to build something that will eventually be useful to us. So what we could do is actually have our bus station like this. And I think that's a pretty decent idea. Bus station right there. Uh, I know we're not going to be able to flare out that road if we do this. Unless, uh, ah, but what I would actually, what I do want is, I actually, hang on. Let's quickly have a look at um, bus roads. So if I do that if I do any of these none of them actually have bus lanes with a median uh, a median opening right none of these none of these have bus lanes with median openings that is a four lane uh, four lane bus so that is actually the one that I could be after right like so but that's some tram tracks as well I'm not keen on the tram tracks guys not keen is there anything else in here four lane this is the one that's the one I want uh, and to be honest that one probably needs to go you know what let's have a look again let's see if there's anything else that is quite one lane bus one lane so this is a one-way setup right there. Anything else? Trolley, tram, trolley bus, trolley road, tram road, tram road, none of those. That's just bus one, la one way. That's tram bus. To be honest, let's go back to this. Uh, you know what? Probably this one should be more something like that okay and then I'll have the bus station next to it so that's what I'm gonna do bus station right there thank you very much so bus station over there I think this one will these two will go away or I'll get rid of them like so oh and what I'm gonna do is behind there I will grab a bit of a walkway like that That looks pretty good for the bus stop. So now we've got a bus station central of town. And I believe we can get in and out quite easily over here. Uh, so what I wanted to do is actually get a long distance bus operation up and running. Are there any other bus roads here that would be better? Mm, I don't think so. That one is probably closest. No, but that one still has a median divide. And something, something without a median. I uh, can't see any. That one it could be. But it's on the wrong side of the road, I feel. Okay, anyway, I'm not going to dwell on that. So where is our bus station? Over here. 
So basically what I want to do is I want a bus to travel here and it is actually going to travel along this section. <clears throat> so if it is traveling down here, actually we can make it travel down here as well. So what we'll do is we'll we'll shall we do a stop here? We'll do a stop there. So we'll do a stop here. We'll do a stop on the other side of the road there. And we'll do a stop at the end here. Then we'll go do a stop at the park. And we'll run. We'll do a stop as we come into town over here somewhere. Oh yeah? Why would you do that? That's a little weird. Okay, then on your way back, you're exiting on that side? Fine, I don't mind that too much. That's too close to the bus station. So what we'll do is we'll catch you on the way out over there. Uh, and we will... Why are you driving down there? I'll see. I'll have a look at that now. We'll have a stop over here. We'll have a stop over there, actually. Yeah, that's fine. We'll have a stop over there. We'll have a stop over here. So actually, that's becoming a bit of a joint. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's make that a uh, bit of a green line towards forestry over there. Perfect. And let's remove all the vehicles. This is going to be a period. There's many vehicles for this one. So let's select a type. I'm going to go with the 18 meter one. And let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hopefully that does the trick. I'm not too sure why you're doing this, my friend. I am not too sure why you are doing that. Ah, now I know. Now I know why you're doing that. Um, I need you. Ooh, what? The lane changer for this is disabled because you've created lane connections. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's do this. There we go. That's the that's the trick right there. Yeah, that that move like that is fine. Okay, now let's see if we go back and have a look at this. Ah, there we go. So now you're going to go straight through there. And to be honest, I am quite tempted to put bus lanes in here. I am quite tempted to put a, a, a kind of a rapid bus lane on there. And maybe just this one, right? I think just that one. So if we do... Do we have bus and cycle? That's grass. Uh, bus and cycle. That's just... It's a joint bus and cycle lane, I'm guessing, is what it is. So let's go back to the roads. I just want to have a look. If we go this kind of thing, right? Large bus avenue. Um, that's the standard. Is there anything else? Any other bus pieces that would be interesting for us to use? That is pretty cool. Four lane boulevard with bikes, but not buses. This is a four lane tram boulevard with bikes. Uh, large avenue. That's just this one. I think it's just going to be this one. Let's just continue that one through. So now that we've got a bus operation running through here, I'm pretty keen on us to make sure that this route runs along effectively so there is the the stop area in there and i think that is bus and bike is it anyway and up to here we don't do we need it to run further than that we don't having any buses running operating beyond this point right here okay so that's gonna be it i just want to make sure so now there's actually some parking occurring Police is going at it. 
Pretty keen to see our first buses come around here. They're still being loaded. Our park is doing pretty well. I don't know where these guys are going. Um, if I have another look at these connections. Ah, oh, we've lost our connections. So you can go in any one of those. Thank you very much. Now, this is our first bus making its move. How many people? Pretty full. So when is that bus actually leaving? There it goes. In the bus lane. Straight through. Can I see what your operating speed is? Not actually telling me, right? No, it's not. But I kind of have a good idea. Why are you in the bus lane? Oh, you're a post van, so you think you've got the... Got it, you can go it. You can go there. You're a service vehicle, so you can make use of it. I believe that is probably the case. You are... Are you going to hold up the bus? That would be interesting. The bus is making its run. Wow, tons of people hanging out over here. Tons of people hanging out over there. So I'm liking, I'm liking the bus station right there. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, you are indeed falling behind, uh, behind that guy. Hearses, police stations, so, geez, police vehicles. Really, we should get that lane to operate a little bit quicker. So let's have a quick look at this. So really, to be honest, what we need to do is probably take it up to 60 over here. Ooh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So we'll do that. Then over here, we will go 60 on that one and we will go 80 on this one and now it goes into 70 um, we'll do uh, 80 on this one and we will go 60 on this one so I do want it to be better for for buses look at that bus pulling away over there i'm loving it and then over here we are going with uh, 60 and 60 again so we'll just do 60 and 60 through here and that's going to be it over here again 60 and 60 so there we go so buses operate pretty quickly through here that's the intention and you are pulling in over here that is okay i don't mind it too much what are you doing? Are you going to pop out and in there? Or are you just going to go, yeah, popping out and in over there? And you're going to, oops, not the button I'm keen on. 72 people in there. I can't actually select the bus while it's in the station building. It's an extra bus right there waiting, clogging up the road. I would have much rather liked you to come through here instead and drive in through there. But I don't mind the operation too much. So now you're making your turn over there. Straight into your lane, I'm guessing. Picking up some people, but you're probably full. 115, are you dropping off a few? Not at all. There you go. So we have a bit of a bus operation going on. So, we are filling in a bit of a rural area over here. This side is quite rural, so I want to make sure that we fill in this thing appropriately. I can't remember what I thought should go in all of these spots, but that is pretty good. We can fill in that pretty nicely. Um, I'm pretty keen on filling in these ones as well. That one can be left for something else, some other use, but this is pretty decent. How are we going on like medical and stuff like that? It's pretty bad over here. So what I could do is I could do a little corner medical shop right over here. Something like the pharmacy. I've got like a pharmacy, haven't I? 50 patient capacity, 25. Let's just do a pharmacy over here. So if we do a bit of a pharmacy over there, that's going to help things out a little bit in this area in terms of a medical, medical thing. The police is pretty good. Uh, fire coverage 
is not great. And considering we've got a lot of stuff happening over here, we may have to consider adding some fire, fire service. Uh, to be honest, we've got some rural capability. So a local fire station over here may be a good idea for us. What is our cost of that? 372 per week as opposed to five. Yeah, so that is probably a good idea. Maybe even right over there. Right, so it's close to the main line. Is that going to... Yeah, that's doing us a little bit better. That's pretty good. How are the buses doing? Are we actually picking up some people over here? We indeed will pick up some people. So it was just kind of the first wave. So I'm liking the fact that the buses go pretty quickly. Uh, the one thing I'm not liking is all of these vehicles on here. So let's have a quick look at our... our um, if I look at our vehicle restrictions. So... So what am I saying? Ban all vehicles, allow all vehicles, apply vehicle restrictions to all road segments between two junctions. So, um, emergency vehicles, none of these. Thank you, thank you, none of these. And same thing over there. Emergency vehicles, none of those, none of those, and like so. And then apply to all segments. And that would hopefully see us not get too many of these things in the way so none of you or you none of you or you okay and in town over here as well so we're going to do the same thing over here we're going to say none of you okay and we're going to say the same thing on this side not you not you not you not you and then say apply over there perfect so that is pretty good that should get our vehicle rest get these other guys out of the bus lanes you're parking almost tempted to, re to drop the parking as well do we have cyclists anywhere these people are walking this distance this is crazy just want to have a keen look on cyclists. Are cyclists potentially making use of anywhere? I just want to keep an eye. Yeah, that guy is doing its thing there. No cyclists, huh? Over here we've got a bit of a bike. A bit of a, That guy is biking on that. That's probably okay. It's not too bad. How many do you have on board? 110. We'll be able to squeeze a few more people in there. Interesting. Okay, so at some point we're going to need to run... What's going on over here? It's just the light. At some point we're going to need to run a bus into these various areas. What's going on with our industry over here? We are getting a few more workers in place. Oh, I see. We're going to need... Getting a lot of people slowly moving in, so our, uh, our residential demand is not too bad. Oh, I'm still waiting for a name, guys. In the comments, put the name, please. What do you think this city should be called? I'm obviously calling the little town segments their own names, but I just want to see what you think the overall city should be. So we've got the raw forestry products. We're not getting this up to level 2 just yet. We're going to need that demand to grow a little bit more. In order to do that, we are going to need a little bit more of of this so I'm tempted to grab a few little bits and pieces we'll have a little bit of a corner store or something going on right over there can fill in pretty quickly uh, probably going to run a little bit more like so we can do a little bit of that we can do a similar arrangement right over there. And I'm pretty keen on us actually linking those two up together. So if we say turn off the snapping over here. And we kind of run that straight through there. There you go. So now you can actually walk your way through there. Tie in on that side. 
actually I want to do a similar thing right over here as well. Let's do that. Good stuff. So now you can actually walk into some of these areas. Maybe we should do one more right through here. Nice. I think that's going to look quite good. That's giving us a pretty decent section. We could link up a little bit um, from here. Like so. So you can actually quite easily walk into there. The, you can't actually squeeze through here at all. Have to go up there. But at least there's some action through there. Nice a bit of time over there. We're seeing seeing some uh, some of these spaces filling in. There's a bit of a hotel popping up in this area. Okay, is there any way over here that we want to expand? This is all still working. This place is doing really well. Let's have a look at what our industry looks like over here. Making tons of cash. So we're really making good, good, good cash of this. We are importing some stuff as well. What are we importing? Raw products? Turning that into flour? So we can do with some more crops, is that what we're saying? We don't have an industrial demand for it though. Good stuff. So what I want to do now, um, it's towards the end of the episode, but what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of layout uh, work for, and, and this is probably not the way I'm going to kind of leave it. I'll probably do a little bit of natural spread out over there, but probably not do a lot more along this road. This road is about as busy as I'm going to get it to be. Well, probably not. We may fill in, to be honest, we may fill in a little bit more on this section over here. Maybe even a bit of a, a bit of a commercial section right there. We could do with a little bit of bus, tra bus travel into that area. Let's have a quick look again at our workers. How's our workers standing? 105. So yeah, we're going to need a little bit more commercial demand. How's our interchange doing? Pretty well. Interchange is doing pretty good. So this thing will run straight into here and maybe even, maybe even we'll tie it up with a road like that. Um, so that section there is pretty busy. This is pretty busy too. Wow. Okay, now start running it. It's getting really busy. I'm, and I'm kind of tempted to do how we're gonna see how better how we can better manage this section. You know how we could better manage this section, I think. Ah ha ha, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to upgrade this piece here, okay? And then, so that one little piece has been upgraded. And what I'm tempted on saying about this, oh, 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 oh. This one can go there and there, right? This one goes here and that one goes there, okay? And then these, this one goes here and there, and that one goes hang on, that one goes here and there, and that one goes over there, as well as over here, and this one just goes straight through there. Uh, the problem, however, is that we probably need this one to also be able to go that way. And why are you standing there? This thing I want to I want this one to be wow that's getting really busy. I'm gonna need to make a plan with this. I am going to need to make a plan. These guys can go around there, so they don't actually have to go through here. But I can't actually ban these guys from doing it. They all want to turn in there, huh? Eh? 
this area it's not it's not looking good for us it's not looking good for us i may have to start signalizing this roundabout that is probably where we're going to have to head is signalizing this roundabout oh i've probably gone too quiet while i'm looking at this <laughs> Okay, so there you go. See, these guys are all going straight through, to be honest. So they really, we haven't scored anything by adding this third lane in here. We don't have a lot of through traffic through there, but it is, it's kind of functioning. Maybe we've got it, got it working now. Um, if we say that one goes there and that one goes there, you know what, what we could do is we could do that and take out that so that that is only a turning lane. So maybe that'll get a little bit more. Maybe we'll get that to flow a little bit better now. Now everybody wants to be in the other lane because you want to turn from that side. Oh no? Where, oh, actually you're going, going the other way around. Oh yes, of course. So now that's a little a little bit more the way you want to do deal with it. Okay, well that's okay. I think we're solving that a little bit better now. It's looking better now. Okay, okay, okay. And I think, I believe that's what I'm going to put a cut in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think this city's name should be. Um, this area is filling in quite nicely. We could actually have a little bit of a kind of almost a farmer's market kind of thing going on over there. Uh, this area you can actually purchase probably right from the farm. And then over here is where they come over the weekends with their trucks and stuff and put a little bit of a farmer's market. So maybe a self-sufficient industry or something like that. Do a bit of a park, maybe spill out a little bit more around it and a little bit down here. Um, have we run out of garbage stuff? But anyway, we'll deal with that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.